<laughs> Hi! I'm here camping at the beautiful, fabulously remote Cinquion Wilderness up in Northern California, right on the beach. Beautiful place. But I just decided that it would be a good time to tell you all about my favorite bits of camping gear, my favorite pieces of camping gear. These are items that I really feel like I can stand behind because of their value and their durability and their usefulness. So the first thing that I really like is this tent. I got this tent at Walmart, Ozark Trail, $20. It's some junior Boy Scout tent. It's bullshit, right? $20. Not really well made, I'm sure, like if you look at the stitching or whatever. But I've used this tent, I bought it in 2013, and I've used it, I don't know, at least 20 times. And yeah, I mean, it's just a little tent. It packs up into a very small package, and as long as you're gentle with the zippers, and the poles, I mean, look, it could last. Made in China bullshit, but I stand behind this tent. <laughs> now here's another item I really stand behind. This is my mom's old down mummy sleeping bag from 1973, whenever it was. I was gonna buy a warm or a cold weather sleeping bag, like one that's rated for cold weather. And I thought, shit, my mom probably doesn't use her old mummy bag anymore. It's still good. It's made by Jones, or it's, it's just styled by Jones. I don't know who made it, but it's fucking 40 years old. Plus, packs up into this little sack next to nothing, doesn't weigh much. It's super warm, very durable. Like, the zipper works like a friggin' charm after all these years. If you can find one of these bad boys, you're set. Now, another item I really like, this could possibly be my favorite item of all, is this little solar sun lantern, right? It has a solar panel on the back. You keep it on your dashboard while you're driving around. Then when you get to camp, it's got a little nozzle on it. Blows up into a lantern. It's got, I don't know if you can see, it's got LED lights on the bottom. And you, I mean, you can't see because it's bright out here, but it's super bright and it will keep a charge probably for a few days. And it's got a few different modes, flashing, blinking, whatever. And then after you're done in the morning, you just let the air back out. And it too packs up into next to nothing, weighs next to nothing. You just stick it back on the dashboard and uh, you're good to go for the next night. Now another item I love are these squishy bowls. I have a cup and a bowl. What I like about these is if you're trying to just go backpacking for one night or whatever, you just want to jam everything in a backpack, they just fit into whatever corner of space you have available in your backpack. And they're also, uh, they're made out of silicone, so they're heat resistant, whatever. You can put hot coffee, hot soup in it. Oh, it says G-U-Y-O-T Designs. Guyot or Guyot Designs. Yeah, you got them on Amazon. Freezer, dishwasher, and microwave safe. From negative 40 degrees Celsius to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, these things are the shit. The only thing you have to watch out for, like if you're eating soup out of this, you kind of have to be careful that it doesn't spill out, but it's pretty self-contained, man. I'm a huge, you can have coffee, cocktails, whatever, huge fan of these bowls. Now, another item that I really like that I just got is this spork. And there's nothing really stand out about this spork versus other sporks you could find on the market. This one's made by Topes, T-O-A-K-S. It's made out of titanium. I just really like it because it's lightweight. It, the tines are long enough to, like I ate a salad with it last night, a full uh, raw leaf spinach salad, and it was able to puncture the spinach leaves and transfer them to my mouth perfectly well. The spoon part of it is also big enough. I ate a bowl of soup with it yesterday. Had some Frito pie with it last night. This fork has been places, and I stand behind this fork. Now here's something that a friend just gave me that I'm really a fan of. This little pack here has Christmas lights, a string of battery powered Christmas lights. You just put two AA batteries in it, it adds boom, instant ambiance to any camp. Now, if you're really trying to save space or backpacking, you probably don't want to carry Christmas lights with you, so it's not a necessity, but if you want to have a nice camp, definitely recommend these lights. And the same friend that gave me these lights also gave me this blanket, which is amazing. This is an American Airlines first class cabin blanket that he stole from an airplane, but it's just like, I don't know what it's made out of, it's like the greatest little I mean, it packs up fairly compactly and it's really warm and uh, I've used it for a lot of things. Really like this American Airlines in-flight blanket. Unfortunately, the only way you can score one of these is by stealing it out of the first class cabin on an American Airlines flight. So good luck with that. 
Another thing that I really stand behind that I always bring with me camping are hot hands. They're cheap, but they work. You shake them and they stay warm for up to 12 hours. If you're camping someplace really cold, I like to put them in my socks so they can keep your whole body warm while you're sleeping. But, uh, you know, they're also good for your gloves or whatever. And finally, the last product that I want to talk to you about that I love are my flip flops. I am obsessed with these. Well, they're made by Teva, the brand Teva, and the they're called Mush, Adapto Mush. They're women's flip-flops. They're kind of like a little bit of a wedge because I have short legs, I'm sure, and I like to have a more flattering heel. But they're durable as shit. I hike all over the place in these flip-flops. I swear by hiking in flip-flops. I hate having my toes closed up in boots, so I always try to wear flip-flops. This is my third or fourth pair of these because every once in a while, I do a lot of um, hiking in water, like down in this canyon on the Colorado River, and sometimes the thong busts out, so I have to buy a new pair every now and then. In fact, I have a backup pair right here, waiting for when these bust out. I just ordered these. The only thing is I cut the, they're made by Teva, and because I associate Teva with like really kind of gross Dave Matthews listening bro, IPA drinking bros, you know, like, oh, I, I cut the little Teva logo off of them. There's supposed to be a Teva logo here, so. Anyways, I do 100% stand behind these Teva flip-flops. These things are durable as shit and they're stylish. You know, this could go from hiking on the beach to a night out on the town fairly well. So, anyways, those are just a few of my favorite items that I love to have with me on a camping trip. And it's a beautiful day, so I'm going to say less talk and more action. I'm going to go enjoy this beautiful Sinkion wilderness using some of the fabulous items that I brought with me.